Hello gun enthusiasts and aficionados. Today we are looking at a Smith & Wesson Model 12. This is the nickel, this, I'm sorry, this is the aluminum frame. I've been showing so many nickel guns these days, I forgot what a blue gun looks like. This is my blue Model 12-2. It's an aluminum frame with a steel barrel and a steel cylinder. The original Model 12 and pre-12s had a aluminum cylinder <clears throat> and it caused problems. It was called the Air Crewman and they're very highly collectible. They, they were gathered up by Smith & Wesson and destroyed but a few of them survived. And uh, this one was a Model 12-2, it's safe to shoot. Of course, you wouldn't want to shoot plus P's with it, but uh, it is so light. It feels like you're carrying a J-frame 36. So they're really they're good to uh, carry because they're so light. And this is the square butt with the rounded edge. Now the thing about the Model 12 is that the frame here is a little thinner than on a standard K frame Model 10 or what have you. All the K frames are the same except the Model 12-1, 2 and 3. The Model 12-4 is a st standard width as a regular Model 10. So anyway, this is such a beautiful finish. So they say this finish is very durable. It's not really blue. Uh, I don't know what the heck it is. But it sure is pretty. Any action? Case hardened hammer and trigger, groove trigger, pen barrel, notched half moon sight. Just like my model. 10-7. It's a beautiful revolver. These things were manufactured from 1952 to 1986. And uh, it's really hard to find one in such nice condition. I got this at a local gun show I traded. They were asking... Well, I'm not going to tell you how much they were asking for it. But anyway. Look at that. So nice. It hardly has a, a turn line. If it does, it's from me playing with it. I haven't shot it though. It's too pretty clean. There it is, model 12-2, see it? Got a real heavy trigger, really heavy. I know you're not supposed to dry fire a revolver with the, with the firing pin on the hammer, I know, but it's just for this video. I'll make an exception. Sweet. Ouch. Shouldn't do that.
Okay, no more dry firing. Sorry about that. <clears throat> the way I check the barrel is I put my thumb down here and it causes a reflection that I could look at the rifling. Somebody taught me that trick, I forgot who. Some old geezer at a gun show, I guess. And you're supposed to close the cylinder by the crane. And then you index it. This is called indexing. Click. See that little guy down there? This little guy. It's called the bolt. Did you know that these arrows point in the direction that the cylinder turns? Like on a, on a Colt, they point in that direction because it turns clockwise. On a Smith, it turns counterclockwise. Oops, the life. So if you only have one round, where do you put it? Like Hickok 45 said, Good to go. Boom! Take care of your guns and they'll take care of you. Thanks for watching.